anatomy and physiology 2, hormones of the hypothalamus, and pituitary gland. In this video, we'll cover eight of the hormones that are secreted by the pituitary gland. And we'll also take a look at the hypothalamus and some of the hormones that it releases that in turn impact the release of hormones from the pituitary gland. The pituitary, shown here in red, is sometimes referred to as the master gland because it impacts a wide range of body tissues and it also targets other glands within the body. It's connected to the base of the brain by a stalk, also referred to as the infundibulum, the pituitary stalk or the infundibulum. There are two lobes. There's an anterior lobe, also called the adenohypophysis, and a posterior lobe, also called the neurohypophysis. You can see on the picture to the right that it's actually an extension of the hypothalamus. And neurons in the hypothalamus extend down into the posterior pituitary. So the hypothalamus is sometimes referred to as a master controller, in part because it secretes a number of hormones that influence the release of hormones from the pituitary gland. So the trick I use for memorizing the hormones of the pituitary gland, or at least the eight we're focusing on, is the acronym GOAT FLAP. So hormones of the pituitary, the eight that we'll focus on, are growth hormone, oxytocin, antidiuretic hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, adrenocorticotropic hormone, and prolactin. Two of these are secreted from the posterior pituitary oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone. And they're actually synthesized in neurons of the hypothalamus and they make their way down axons into the posterior pituitary where they're then released. That's different than the anterior pituitary shown here in red. These hormones are both synthesized by cells in the anterior pituitary and released by those cells in the anterior pituitary. So it's a little different than the posterior. So growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, adrenocorticotropic hormone, and prolactin, their release from the anterior pituitary is influenced by hormones from the hypothalamus. For instance, growth hormone releasing hormone, not surprisingly, stimulates the release of growth hormone from the anterior pituitary. And that's shown here with the green arrow and the, the green plus sign as stimulating the release of. There's also thyrotropin releasing hormone, gonadotropin releasing hormone, corticotropin releasing hormone, and prolactin releasing factor. One thing to note here is that gonadotropin releasing hormone stimulates the release of two hormones from the anterior pituitary, follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. There's also two uh, hormones of the hypothalamus that inhibit the release of hormones from the anterior pituitary. Those are somatostatin, okay, that inhibits the release of growth hormone, and prolactin release inhibiting hormone, okay, inhibits the release of prolactin. This list is uh, so comprehensive that I find that it's useful to actually write down all of the hormones. And I find that if I don't do this, I tend to misspell them or forget exactly how some of them are uh, regulated. So I use the GOAT FLAP acronym, and then I write down the hormones in turn from the pituitary, noting that two of them are from the posterior pituitary, oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone. And then I come in and I write down the different hormones of the hypothalamus that regulate the release of hormones from the pituitary. And if I write this list down enough times, I know that I really have a good handle on it and I really understand those hormones and how they're impacting um, um, each other. So this video has been a review of the major hormones of the pituitary gland, as well as those hormones of the hypothalamus that influence the release of hormones from the pituitary gland.